how to create some artistic text with stripes or a rectangle with stripes in Affinity Designer. Go to the toolbar and select a rectangle. Just create a rectangle and create something like that. Once you've done that, go up here, go to the top right and you've got three options and just go for this one. Insert inside selection. Click there. Then go and create another rectangle. And with that, just apply. Now, maybe slightly bigger. Now, you can see there, it's applied there. It's inside. Well, you can use that. So let's just undo again, because what you can also do with version two, and this is only for version two, is you can drag like that. Unfortunately, of course, the color is the same. But what you can do, you can use the arrow cursors. Now, use the right one, right arrow cursor on the keyboard, and then you can create these rectangles all the way across. Once you've got those, and of course you could create 20 or 30, depending on obviously the size of the rectangle. And then you can resize this. Of course, you can make it bigger, smaller, up to you. You can also, of course, resize the rectangle. And the key panel for this, layers. That's in the window menu. So just go up to the rectangle, select that, and you can resize it a bit. Now, all those rectangles are still inside this rectangle. So you can select that rectangle or any of them, and you can go down here to the swatches and you can set the colors. So I'm gonna select that one, select that one. Now, unfortunately, there's no randomized feature in Affinity Designer. I would love to see that. But you can go from one to the next, to the next, and just change the color all the way across. Once you've created all these colorful rectangles, what you can then do is you can resize this design and move it around, just reposition it. You can also angle all of those rectangles. So just go to the rectangles here. So select this one and go all the way down and select and hold down the shift. So all selected and then you can resize them. So you can make them slightly bigger. Let's just scroll down a bit so you can see that. And also what you can do, you can rotate it. Now, of course, you can still see the original color, so you might want to just resize that a bit. And you can see there, you've got a little bit there. And of course, just make certain you can see none of that. Now go back to the original rectangle, and you've got it angled. And you could angle it anything, 60 degrees, 45 degrees. And you can use this rectangle now in everything else. Really useful, go to the Assets panel, and you can find that in the Window menu. With version one, you can find it in View and Studio, and you can see the assets. So with this selected, you can go down here, and you can select, of course, any of the categories. Click there and go Add from Selection. And that will add that to that selection. So you can use it in future. You can also link that category. So you can just go down here and link. Certain categories can be linked. Oh, it's already linked anyway. So once you've done that, you can use it elsewhere. Now, I don't particularly want to use it there, but I'm just putting it so I can save it for future use. Now, all I need to do is go to Edit and Cut. So I don't need it at this point, so Edit and Cut. It's in the clipboard. I can now create some text or some other shape. And I'm just going to create text, just the word text in Arial Black. It can be any font, of course. So you can do that. And then you can go to Edit and paste inside. So edit, paste inside, and then you've got your text. And again, just resize it. Resize it like that, and you can, of course, rotate it a bit further. You just rotate it around, and you've got your lovely stripes very quickly in text, as well as any other shape. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Subscribe, please always bringing out new videos. Thank you much.